Well, guys, uh, this episode destroyed me. Spoilers, by the way. Uh, Natsu's death was always something that we knew was inevitable. You know, the two options were Natsu escapes or Natsu dies since, like, episode one. And, you know, I've always wanted him to be able to escape with his dad. But as the show goes on, you realize that's less and less likely. And I gotta say, though, like... The thing about it is, we kind of figured he was going to die for like a long time, but we didn't exactly expect how he was going to die, or when he was going to die. That's been one of the biggest mysteries within Better Call Saul. And I think the way he went out was unexpected, and he went out like a boss. His phone call to his dad, and you know, the last time he talks to his dad, that's when I realized, okay, this is it for Nacho. This is... He's reached the end of the line. And it's just so sad. His dad's like, you should turn yourself into the police. But like, you know, he wouldn't realize. His dad doesn't exactly know the full extent of what's going on. And it's just kind of sad that, like, you know, when will his dad find out that Nacho's dead? Will he ever find out, like, how it happened? You know, we don't really know. But Nacho sacrificed himself to save his dad. Which seems very in character to him. And I loved his, like, telling him, you know, telling Hector that I was the one who switched your pills, you twisted fuck. That was the best scene. Oh my god. I, I was like, oh god, I'm gonna have a heart attack watching it. It reminded me a lot of uh, Game of Thrones back when the show was good. When Olenia Tywo was like, tell Solzy it was me. <laughs> it reminded me a lot of that scene. And the scene with Nacho talking to his dad reminded me a lot of Hank talking to Marie, saying, like, we finally got Walt before Hank dies. It's similar, but different because Nacho knows he's going to die, but Hank thinks he's going to get out of it. But overall, just a great way for Nacho to go. Uh, meanwhile, Cam and Jimmy are still working on their sabotaging for Howard, and Heel was able to make a duplicate key. And I like when Heel's like, why do you do this? And Jimmy's like, well, I'm doing this for the greater good. And Heel is not buying any of it. <laughs> His character is always a pleasure to watch. And Kim finds out that they're, like, making a case on Jimmy because they connected him to the Lalo case. And that makes me think that Jimmy did not mean to say Lalo instead of De Guzman. It just doesn't, like, I can't see a strategic angle for Jimmy to say that. He def I think he messed up. I think he made a Freudian slip there. And when, when Kim Wexler said, you know, we're not gonna, we're not gonna inform on the Salamancas, or like, Jimmy doesn't know anything about it. He, um, it reminded me a lot of Fargo Season 2, when Lou Silverson was like, you, you know, you could get out of this if you just tell us what's going on. And Peggy said, no, no, nothing, nothing, nothing's going on. So now we gotta, like, figure out um, if Jimmy's gonna rat on the Salamancas or if he's gonna just dig himself deeper into the hole. And, you know, I'm leaning on the side of digging himself deeper into the hole. Though, then again, he might rat on the Salamancas because in his first episode, he says, like, it wasn't me, it was Ignacio. Which makes, like, he thinks the, he thinks the Salamancas are after him. And, you know, besides, they think that he ordered the hit on Lalo. Maybe he did something else to make them upset about him. And he does seem more aligned with, like, Gus and Mike than he was with the Salamancas in the course of Baking Bad. And I'm really beginning to believe that um, Kim Wexler is still around and active during the events of Baking Bad. Because the Saul we see doesn't seem too different and she could easily be orchestrating the entire thing, you know, like a Lady Macbeth kind of way. But I don't know, you know, the show is never never predictable, you know. I didn't know how Nats was going to go out until literally when he got out. And I got to say, Michael Mando, his performance was incredible. Uh, he's definitely been nominated for an Emmy for this season, even though he's only in three episodes. I don't know. But yeah, he was great. Um, a plus, this episode is amazing. And to have such a hard hit all like, right so early in the season, like, I'm really excited for the rest of it. Because, yeah, like, we still have ten episodes left. Holy shit. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. Do you think Nacho went out like a champ? I don't know how you could disagree with that. 
But yeah, I post videos all the time. I'll be posting videos later this week on This Is Us and Doctor Who and Sherlock Holmes. And next week, I'll for Better Call Saul. And until then, peace.